Good morning. Happy Friday to everybody out there. It's all about the you. You know what time it is. It's the Kang Gang Radio Show here on Slam Radio, Sirius XM Channel 145. It's your boy DC holding it down on up there in the 772. It's your boy Dirty Bird. John what's Michaels what's is in the ATL. He's incognito. Who knows where he's at right now? But uh, anyway, Dirty Bird, what's good? What's good? Not much, man. How you feeling? I'm good, man. Obviously, look, man, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, tournaments there, you know, tournaments going on. March Madness got some great news yesterday. Nigel Pack decided he was going to come back for another year, um, which is let's let's start with that because I think that's very very important that Nigel Pack yeah. is coming back. Because number one, I don't think he's an NBA prospect. This is just personally speaking. I think he's too small. He's kind of streaky as a shooter. Um, number two, like if you're not an NBA prospect. You're either overseas or you're G League, and you're probably making a good amount of NIL right now to might as well come back and stay at school in order oh, to you're, reap those benefits. It's crazy that we've hit the point where staying in college is the best financial opportunity for somebody, right? It, it's crazy. And the, I mean, listen, <laughs> you know, you you got you got a big six eleven recruit in uh, in kid. Um, obviously, you know, you have a a, a top tier shooting guard coming in. You got Norchad hopefully decides to stay. You move him to the four, which is going to be ideal. Oh, bro. I mean, oh. let him play the four. Let him play well, the power forward. Look, or even maybe move Norchad, down to the three. Norchad's another one like Pack. Like, bro, you you better come back, man. Because I don't know too many uh, like six power forwards that make it in the NBA. I mean, Maybe you know, six, five. <laughs> I mean, look, you got seven footers out there shooting threes, and I'm not sure that Norchad is a that type of uh, like shooting guy um, <laughs> yeah. from outside 23 feet. But whatever, man. Listen, a lot of things going on. Obviously, spring break just came and gone for for you know Kings football. Um, they're back at practice, and, and when I tell you that they look, you know, that here's that terminology, right? Bigger, stronger, faster. That is legit. Bigger, stronger, faster. Um, just from the yeah. Mammoth perspective of how big the O line and the D line has gotten, um, it, it, it's amazing. And obviously, they just got another you know recruit commitment as far as uh, Mr. Pringle, you know, kind of a home run hitter. That running back room is just yeah. getting stacked and stacked and stacked. Oof. Ain't that the truth? In, in a good Plus, way, though. I mean, my favorite other kid is that Byron Luis kid, man. That's that's what I want because you know we kind of have that thunder and lightning thing going right now with the uh, with bringing these Jordan Lyle, in, Look, you got Lyle coming in as you know again coming in the fall. You know it's Mario's building what Miami needs to do and what they've done over the years when they were successful. You build, you build quality depth. You know, and again, you go down, you have another man who fits right into you know right into that spot. So. We, we come a long way since Alex Gall playing on the O-line, right? Tommy Kennedy? <laughs> oh, oh. Bro, he didn't even make it on the field. Bar Milo? Bro, <laughs> bro, remember we were we were on our bullshit with Tommy Kennedy, bro. Oh, my word. Bro, you remember you know, that? We come in, hey, we got this tackle for Butler. He's, you know, yeah, yeah. right when the transfer portals, portals third. I, I don't even think he played a snap here, man. No. You know, Jermaine Johnson, they're just guys out there who just – we're just brutal on the old line. Um, but you know, we again, gotta we gotta go back and not this week, but maybe next week. We must make an all time bad team. Oh, I can make an all I can make a huge oh, bad bro. team. Who's Where do you want me to start? All time worst quarterback? Kirby Miami. Freeman. Yeah, it's gotta be, bro. What is it? The one for twelve game that he had Kirby, for seven. One for fourteen yards? against NC State. Kirby oh, one fourteen is, yeah, NC State, bro. Yeah. Kirby. All right, who's running back? All time worst running back? Yeah. Sean you gotta, Mc, you gotta Sean figure, Barry like, McNeil. Height. All right, you gotta figure like hype to, to production is kind of the, the oh, like, like, like a bust. Like a bust. Yeah. You, you yeah, want to like, do all like time just, bust? Like I, I wouldn't say so much bust, but just who is this like just bad when they got here, bro? You know, like just like when you look and you're just like, my God, man. And listen, like, for can't those be a walk on, bro. Yeah, you know, for like, those of you who are joining us, if you guys, you know, have somebody, pop it in the chat. And, yeah, uh, pop it in the chat, man. I'm, I'm interested to hear some names pop up here. Bro. All right, so who'd you say? So all time quarterback, I'm gonna say Kirby Freeman. Yeah, it's got to be Kirby Freeman. I agree with you there. I agree with you on Kirby. I, I mean, it, Cannon Smith. How about Kevin Olson? Like I can go on and on and on, bro. Like yeah, Kevin Kevin Olson was a dud, man. I'm just just throwing that out there. Um, running back. Storm Johnson, that kid came in with a bunch of hype. 
never yeah. was really productive on the field. Yeah. Tell you a guy who, on the flip side, who came in as a DB and who excelled playing running back for two years was Damian Barry. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, again, it's just one of those things. Reverend son. I'm telling you, bro. Reverend K- Kenny Barry. KB. KB. Yeah. Um, give me another one. Give me another. Give me another position. Let's see. Wide receivers, man. Give me a couple. Ryan Moore. Oh yeah, yeah. Ryan Moore. God, who else was like just bad at wide receiver though, man? Oh, I can, I can. Sam Shields. <laughs> Sam Shields. <laughs> no, lone, I'm, lone fan of drops in Lorenzo Lingard on the running back, man. Oh, hold on, let me see. Who, I, I hate that one though, man. Like, like, look, I get he it. He got man. hurt, like, but he, he got hurt. He, yeah, yeah, but like he was, he was injury, so it, it's tough for me to throw that one on there. I mean, yeah, he went to UF and everything, man, but. uh God, man, I was that was another guy I was on my bullshit about was was Lorenzo Lingard, man. I thought he was I thought he was it, man. I mean, it depends on that when you one go cut back. And gone running back. Oh, I know. Yeah, that that was bad. Oh, um, there's, like I said, receivers. There was a dime a dozen. Laron Bird, like I mean, just all Darius Johnson, Davin Johnson, and know. so Al Darius, bro. Like he his was son. one that that, yeah. that was, and now his son's being. No, yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, but but Al Darius is one that we thought was like, like, dude, his high school stuff was insane. So and you go back to the what? Like, yeah, that 08 Northwestern team, you know, when you're sitting there rocking with Tommy Streeter, Al Darius Johnson, yeah. Brandon Bro, Washington, you know, Jacory, Marcus Forson. And again, the only could one that you, panned out was Sean, Sean Spence. Yeah, but could you imagine that class in this day and age? Yeah, I don't think you'll see that type of class again. I mean, it was just no. Nah, it'll just, never, it'll never happen again, bro. No, because everybody wants to go to different schools now. Now mm-hmm. with 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 Teddy coming back, and now Teddy taking over. That's who intriguing. Knows? I'm just throwing that out there. But, but before you look, we're we're always unscripted, man. So you know, but I don't want to get too sideways. I just and give me a couple more names, man. Just give me a couple uh, give me, offensive. Give me line a position. Names. Offensive line. Um, center. Oh, oh center. <laughs> I went hard on that one. Center is gonna be tough because I mean, uh, it's just hard because like you don't really see a lot of centers that come in and don't play. Well, like, Tommy I, Kennedy's a given on here, right? Like he's yeah, he's yeah I, I would say that uh, for O line. Um, again, Bar Milo, you know, he came in with Brad Kaya. Uh, that kid was yeah. just brutal. Um, and he was I, huge too. Yeah, he was a big dude. Yeah, it, it's just hard to really talk about like O line. You know, the guy like Jermaine Johnson who came here, went to UCLA, he didn't really pan out too well. Um, you know, tight ends, you know, um, Deron Dye. <laughs> I mean, oh, just, wow. yeah. he came in with Ray Ray Armstrong. You know, they were, he, you know, he was a state champion at Sanford. And I think they beat the West for the state championship that year. Um, I don't know, man. There's just, there's been, there's just oh, been there's guys. Some- I think let's do defense next week, man. I think we want to give some some thought to this, man. Some thought to it, man. So uh, I mean, so listen. Look, go ahead. You well, you were you know you've been around the team this spring a little bit, so yeah. without without saying like you know stuff you can or whatnot from what you've yeah. seen, but what yeah. what's standing out to your practice that you know six I mean, is that obviously dude. just the size of the one. Six is that six dude. is that dude. Six Jojo is that dude. Trader. Yeah. Six. I mean, seven is just. What I've seen from a couple of practices being there and watching seven, it's it's yeah. night and day. Like if that kid stays the way he's doing now, that kid is making Ooh. major bank come draft time. So he's just cooking people, right? Like just his route running. You can't, you can't cover him off the line. I don't care who it yeah. is. Nobody can cover that kid off the line. Really? Balls are kind of thrown behind him. He's making one-handed catches, snagging yeah. it from behind. The kid's got glue on his hands, man. It's we're gonna we're it, gonna be throwing that X up during games a lot. Huh? I'm telling you. But yeah. when you watch when you watch um what's going on, one thing that I did see is they're using Chris Johnson out of the backfield and lining him out outside. And Finally. he's just toasting DBs. That kid has Ooh. so much speed. Like you just run go routes for that kid, you know what I mean? And throw the ball up. And and that's the thing, right? And, and not taking anything away from nine last year. But one can absolutely just spin the ball. But I tell you who who to watch out for. Sixteen is going to be that dude, and there's, I'm not saying it's going to be this year unless there's an injury. But moving into next year, sixteen is probably going to be your starting quarterback. Is that Reese? That is Reese. Yeah, yeah, and dude, his his film was insane. I obviously, never heard of the kid until yeah. you know until we, we locked him up and I started watching his stuff. And I was like, oh my! But God. he's an athlete, right? Like he's a legit athlete. Um, 
17, 17 is probably put on 15 pounds. Um, yeah. Looks good. Um, Judd Anderson looks, you know, he's tall, you know, again, he's got to work it. Um, yeah. You know, but again, there's going to be people leaving. I just don't know who's going to be leaving, but your roster right now is, is like overstacked per se. Yeah. You got to get rid of people. And I was surprised that Henry decided to leave because there was no true alpha right now coming into the RB room, right? Like you would you say, you don't think it's Fletch though? But like, he's hurt. I think it's Fletch. But, I know, but he's hurt. I know, but he's... And who and who knows if he's going to be ready for for week one? I don't know. I mean, yeah. he had foot surgery. No, he so. had soldier surgery. So you never know what's going to happen. But like I tell you, Hellcat looks really good back there. Citizen looks good back there. Uh, Chris Johnson looks good back there. Uh, Terrell Mario's Walden looks really. Listen, I know people are going to knock on this comment, but like twenty actually runs the ball with purpose and he runs the ball really hard, you know? Yeah. So I like Terrell Walden. I don't know if he get a lot of PT or a lot of burn, but he actually runs the ball really well. Yeah. Let's, you know, let's, you know, carry the rock, man. <laughs> I, listen, but, I'm okay with it. So Mario said today, I guess it clicked for citizen for the first time out there. So that's encouraging to hear, and, you know, and again, he's got to be somebody who's coming off of, you know, back to back, you know, missing, missing years because of injury. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes it's a mental thing, and it finally takes you just to get get over that mental, you know, nervousness per se to really get focused and, and, and find your way. You know, it's it's a lot of contact. Now they're in pads. You know, he's taking hits, um, but he's that big back. He's that big bruising back that you're going to need. You know, for that short yarder situation. Um, but the depth is there, and 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 I'm here for it. Right? Like they have yeah. a lot of opportunities to play a lot of people. Well, especially the recruits that are coming in that you're getting a lot of buzz from. Obviously, JoJo is, you know, getting it, the, that dude buzz, right, which is amazing. Saquon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's another one, right, that's Patterson, you know, on the yeah. defensive side. But what about uh, what about Elijah Lofton, too, man? Yeah, yeah. he's, getting, he's getting a lot. Everywhere. So <laughs> if you remember, um, last year Central went out to Bishop Gorman, and he literally destroyed Central by himself, like single-handedly. I think he had four touchdowns. Um, he mm-hmm. literally run the ball, catching the ball. Um, and, and they're using him, they're, they're using him now, you know, they'll put him at like, like an H back or a fullback. They'll give him like, like a fullback dive. They'll swing him out of the backfield. So yeah. the kid's going to be used and it just a matter how much I tell you, who's really surprising. And, and it's finally, you talk about the citizen thing kind of starting to click is watching Elijah Arroyo right now. The Thank kid God. is a monster. Like <laughs> the kid is an absolute monster. Yeah. Like his body reminds me of a bigger K2, but just mm-hmm. he just looks the part out there. You know, almost, you know, we've had so many really, really good tight ends that come through the immersive Miami. And and Elijah's got that mold and he's got that body type and that size. You know, his biggest thing is just being injury, you know, injury prone and then having the injury bug bite him. But if he can stay healthy, man, you finally are going to see a healthy Elijah who can put up mad numbers this year. Yeah. We've been waiting for it, right? Like, I couldn't even believe, and you know, I'm like looking at stats on everybody, and I pulled his stats for his career here, and it was shocking. He's got like one touchdown and like eight grabs yeah, yeah. Yeah. In, the, in the three years he's been here. And I granted, he's been injured, man. But, like, you know, I'm hoping this is the year he, he puts it together, man, because – it was definitely baffling last year us not using the tight end really at all. <laughs> what would we have last year for tight ends? Eight catches for one touch and one touchdown. <laughs> yeah, if McCormick, that, uh, Riley yeah. Williams. Yeah. yeah. Um, now Riley looks good bit. too. So, so you bring up yeah. you bring up Riley. Um, he actually looks really good too. He's just another bigger body. You know what I mean? And so the tight end room. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's four guys out there. Obviously, you know, you got Elijah. You got. Uh, you got you got two Elijahs, right? You got nine, and you got and you got eight. You got Jackson Carver. You got McCormick, former eighty. Uh, uh, yeah, and I like yeah, Jackson yeah. Carver too, man. Yeah, he's just a yeah. little he's a little small right now, um, but I, I think you know again he's a kind of a taller kid, mm-hmm. a little thin, but you know he can stretch the field as well. So I, I don't think the offense is going to be a problem at all. To where you just never knew last year, you know how it was going to go because you never knew if there was going to be a pick. Or, you know, a bad ball thrown. What I've seen from the couple practices that I've been is Cam has read the play to a T. He knows where to get the ball to. He knows how to get the ball out quickly. And if it's not there, he just steps up in the pocket and makes it happen with his feet. I love that. 
That's so, so that's so great to hear, man. That's so absolutely great to hear. It's been a long yeah. time, man. Yeah. Well, what about, I, I, what about I, defensively, man? I mean, uh, defensively is going to be crazy. I mean, you know, I didn't realize that they put 24 down on the, on, you know, down like on the, on the edge, which is good to see because he can come off the edge really quick. But Malik Bryant, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Seeing someone like, thir- and I'm just using numbers, right? Like, so 32 is going to be a. Beast. There was and number changes, dude. so you got to. <laughs> 32, like, he's been 32 since he's been there. So, Popo, he, um, our linebacker room is going to be stupid good. You know, again, I think Kiki is going to be solid. Wesley solid. Popo is going to be good. Um, Pullum's good. Bobby Washington's out there. I mean, now, again, it's starting to look like the Miami days of old. When, you know, even if you go back to the early 2000s, when you had, like, the Vilmas and the Morgans, the DJ Williams, the Rocky McIntoshes, the Tavares Goodins, you know, you started seeing quality depth and quality play. And and these are big guys. They're 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", that can move. You know, and again, I'm not taking yeah. any shots at our premier, uh, previous regime, you know, like with Manny and stuff. But, like, again, they just – they didn't they didn't go after, like, the Miami guys or the right type of Miami guys. You know what I mean? I'm not knocking 11, not knocking 34, but those are guys that we're not going to probably see as far as – the type of players at Miami anymore, as long as Mario's here. If that makes sense. So, I mean, I'm over here watching uh, the NCAA yeah, I mean, tournament. Yeah. I'm watching Clemson going to so, be hey, going to beat Arizona. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Oh, you falling out? Shoot, I got to check in my bracket here, man. We're we're not in it, man. So, yeah, I know that my my connections get a little bad, but you know what? Just in time because it's time for us to take a break. You're listening to the Kane Gang Radio Show here on Sirius XM Slam Radio Channel 145. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, welcome back to the Kane Gang Radio Show here on Sirius XM Slam Radio Channel 145. You're hanging out with your boy Derek Coe, boy Ryan Pittman. Also known as the Dirty Bird, aka Dirty Bird with three Y's. Also find uh, Co. DC, we got a special birthday shout out before we go a little bit further. I think you know who where we gotta go with this one, right? Go ahead, drop it. Our boy Frank. Yeah, man. Oh, Frankie Fernandez. Frankie Fernandez over at Slam Radio. Happy birthday, Frankie. Bird, your connection is absolutely atrocious. I'm not sure, like, your cricket wireless or what you're using up there, but the fact that you keep going frozen is literally kind of funny. Like, that look that you have right there is just absolutely funny. I'm not sure if you have to reboot or what you have to do, but, like, that is funny. Anyway, so until Bird gets back from uh, being frozen, um, I wonder what kind of nickname I can give him. Like, he looks like he's frozen in time. Um, Obviously, Clemson just knocked off Arizona, in case you guys are wondering, following your brackets. Um, I don't think anybody had Miami in the bracket this year because obviously they didn't make it to the tournament. Um, you know, one of those things. But I love to see Cinderella stories. I love to see when things happen. Um, I enjoy a lot of the, you know, overrated teams who get ranked really super high. And But this is the first like long time in a long time where a lot of teams have made it all the way to the Sweet 16. So it looks like Bird's trying to do a reconnect. And uh, let's see if we can get him reconnect. Let me add to the stage. Bird, you there? I'm back. <laughs> what happened? What happened to the last know. one? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It just it just went crazy on me, man. It just started started going nuts on me, man. So, so sometimes so Bird, how, me... that's how it is, man, when you go live and unfiltered and unscripted. <laughs> I know. So let me ask you this. Obviously, there's been a lot of talk about the spring game being held down at campus, uh, you know, limited amount of people, blah, blah, blah. What's your take on that? Because I have a take, and I just want to hear what your take is on that. And if anybody out there wants to chime in, and you know, I'm sure I know they sent out an email about claiming yeah. tickets and things like that. But why do you think that they're doing that? Man, I mean, look, it, it ain't cheap to rent out Hard Rock, right? We know that, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's expensive for us to go to, especially when you can't charge for tickets for the game. Um, you know, same thing with that with the Drive Pink. Uh, you know, I didn't think that was a terrible. Um, you know, situation the, the last couple of years, I'd have been fine going back there. It's nice to nice to take the boys up to Broward every once in a while. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, look, I'm gonna be there regardless. So, you know, wherever wherever that wherever it is, man, you know, I'm gonna show up. So, you know, I, obviously they're trying to make it more of the way I understand it is, you know, they send it out to Hurricane Club members, people who donate. You know, kind of make it a smaller venue. I just thought it was a way for them to say, you know what, you know, you want to come watch us. Uh, let's see about you know if you guys want to donate some money. I kind of no. think that's. The walk so it's obviously, yeah, it's a walk off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shout out to shout out to Rob, man. What up, K fan Rob? <laughs> I just saw that and I had to go in and check it out, bro. How much Mark Light magic have we had this season? Always so phenomenal. Bro, it's either that or we get our ass kicked. Yeah, and, <laughs> like, and, there's and, been no in between. <laughs> isn't Clemson ranked number three right now? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's an impressive win. But then we went. Yeah. And I, I think we got swept by Notre Dame, didn't we? We lost all three uh, up there. No, I think we won the we won the last game. I believe we won the Sunday game. Okay. All right. Yeah. We won the Sunday game. You know, listen, baseball is doing okay. They're not, they're still young. I mean, obviously they're just, they're not hitting. Yeah. Obviously if John Michaels was on here, he would be like, well, because you're hiring from inside the program and you're not going out and getting somebody new. And this is what <laughs> happened. I mean, listen, that's a John Michaels special, right? You got to love it. Right. He's going to be negative on everything <laughs> that he possibly can be is negative. <laughs> <laughs> we love him to death though man we love him to death good lord 15 strikeouts for, for gage zeal tonight man i didn't yeah, know that it was slinging That's it. awesome and then i think they beat fiu earlier Ooh. in the week too so like they're on a streak right now yeah, yeah let's, we see what happens. let's see what yeah, happens yeah man so nice. so going back so, nice. so going yeah. back to going back to a couple things the football program I think it all starts on how do they open up in week one? You in week one, I think your schedule is so favorable to just I, I know we we talk about this all the time, but this has got to be the year that Mario makes yeah. a statement with the program. It has to be. Well, he's got to get over the hump. And here's the thing, man. Like, look, I hate UF, I hate FSU, right? With every ounce of my being, but I'm a realist. We are going to get Florida's best, best. effort. All season long in week one, bro. That team is not going to do much this year, right? We know that. But, but if they can beat Miami, you, man, like we're going to get a healthy team, bro. Yeah, like we, it's going to be a fight, man. Like that's that's going to be a tough game for us, man. Like going up there, hostile environment with all them rednecks, you know. Um, rednecks, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be a fight, man. Inbred, red, 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 redneck, red. methods, inbreds. Kind of like converters stealing off cars. Like, yeah. yeah, like that's that's that uh that's that's the people up there, man. But uh look, we're gonna and get we're gonna get a fight with them, bro. Yeah. I think the Florida game is harder than the Florida State game this year. Yeah, I'm not sold on FSU. No. Um, you know, I, obviously last year we were really competitive and, and I think we should have won that game. I just feel like we were missing something from the QB perspective because they left the middle of the field wide open, but yet we didn't have a quarterback. Again, even if you take a, a every now and then a, a quarterback run for 10, 12 yards, that softens up that defense. But like when you don't do that, I remember when Coach Rick came in there and he implemented the RPO with Brad Kaya. No disrespect, no disrespect to 15. <laughs> but you're not running the ball. Like you're just, you're not. So, like, that was all for naught, right? Um, I think someone like Cam Ward who can actually – and it could be Jakari. You saw Emery actually, you know, try to use his feet last year against Florida State. Like, you got to be able to, to scramble outside the pocket and extend plays with your legs. Every team does it that is in college football except for the University of Miami. And we did a couple little plays with Tyler last year. I look at the Temple game. I think the A&M game. But after that, we didn't really do much at all. Yeah, man. Yeah, you just uh, keep you keeping the video up because. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to save bandwidth, man. I don't know what's happening, man. I keep coming in and out, and uh, I don't want to, you know, don't want to. Your, your hot spot, down, your hot spot, slowing down, bro. You, you know, did you yeah, pay your bro, bill? That Metro month? PCS is killing me right now. Yeah, I man. bet, man. Yeah. You got to pay that bill, bro. Pay my my, my, my forty five dollars a month for my Metro PCS, man. <laughs> oh my word! Oh, so look, we got we got poke in the show. So Polk, what's up, oh, what's man? Up, I know uh, we we you know here here's the thing with Polk, and and, and and Polk's a good dude, but we got we know we have Polk come in so every good. now and then, hop on this, blah blah blah, and then he wanted to jump ship, and, and go pop up on another show. So how do we handle that? You know what I mean? 
So now no, Coach Carter, with us, what, once? it doesn't matter. He's always chime in. Now he barely chimes in because now he thinks he's big time, and he's over there with with you heard, you know. So anyway, Poke, I just threw you under the bus, but it's okay. You my those boy. Are, those are guys know too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, hey now, hey now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poke, just let you know, I'll be in, I'm going to Disney tomorrow, so I'll be up there for the weekend. I'm sure you're not going, but I'll be <laughs> up there. Always, that man's <laughs> always up there, man. I, bro, oh, this God. is the first time in like three months that we're actually going to Disney. I mean, like, wow. I, I it's coach, been that I long coach, since you've been there? Yeah, because, you know, I coach basketball now, and so on Saturday's practice, Sunday games, but because of spring break, I'm able to get up there and, you know, go see the mouse for a little bit. So, anyway. Yeah, man. No doubt. No doubt. So, so spring game, man, uh, shout out to our guys over at you heard and, and, and Benny and, uh, and Joe and the boys, uh, they're going to be over at Canes where, uh, start, yeah. I think at 10 what is it, 9 a, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Over at Canes where, um, yeah. I was going to go over there, man, but there's a volleyball game. So I'm going to end up, uh, over there sporting the lady Canes volleyball. So, um, but you know, definitely everybody stop by, see, you know, uh, see Brett and everybody over at, uh, over at Canes where, uh, and hook the boys from, uh, you know, go hang out with the boys over at the UR pod. I am going to do my best to stop by. Um, they have reached out, so I'm probably going to try to get by there and then slide on down to mm-hmm. campus, you know, maybe around 11 or so if I can get down there early enough. But we'll see. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's going to be – you know, it's great when anyone when, – when people can collab and, and just kind of share knowledge and, you know, share their different takes on what's going on. And, again, you're going to go to the spring game. And, Bird, you've been to the spring game with me. Like I don't even watch the spring game. Like literally for me, it's just more of who's <laughs> at the spring you, game. You're over there, like, oh, what's up, Jalen Phillips? Oh, Russo, what's up, man? You no, know? but like, oh, like Betty Blades, what's up, man? <laughs> no, but my, the thing about it is, well, is like well, it's it vanilla. Even, let me clarify: it's, it ain't even you going to them. It's them guys coming up, like, oh, what's up, DC? <laughs> no, I know, but like the spring game to me doesn't mean anything. Like for for I guess for a lot of fans, it's just a way to get back into into watch football. But like it doesn't mean anything yeah. to me because it's it's literally your you're year in April. Like show me there's no really packages implemented. You're not really running, you know, um game preps. You know, when you come fall, like that's what I want to see. I want to see the ones. You're gonna see just yeah. a bunch of people out there, which which you want to. You want to see the depth, oh, you want to see the younger guys getting stuff, but it's so vanilla. What do you mean yeah, who's big get time? To see the new is it, <laughs> this Pokane over there saying saying stuff here. Who's, so who's saying? big time? <laughs> but you know, look for me. But for me, with the spring game, man, it's about seeing those new guys with yeah. that U on their helmet for the first yeah. time, seeing them out there. You know, you know they're gonna throw us a couple bones. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna let JoJo loose. I bet. You know, I think he's probably gonna be in for a uh, for a big day. You may see a Chris Johnson pop up and have a big day, but it's not like you're seeing anything that's gonna, you know. I mean, it's the most vanilla scrimmage of all of them. Um, well, you know, what you will see behind closed doors. What you will see is big six foot nine Markel Bell because that dude is a monster. So oh my God. Uh, you will 345, see 345, 6'9. <laughs> you know, if he can get a little bit more weight, like he might be, and I, I would hate to say this, but like he's like that. Yeah, everybody wants to see Cam. You're right. But he might be that next Bryant McKinney. Like he he just has that frame on him. Shoot, I hope so. They're probably going to sit Cam out. They're probably just going to put him in a red jersey, get everybody out there, and then just not let him play. <laughs> could you imagine? Like, <laughs> could you imagine come to spring game like he stubs his toe and says, "You know what? We can't. We can't throw him out there. He's in a non-contact jersey." So sorry, guys. He just we oh, can't let you. See, we can't let you see him today. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that'd be brutal, man. Kane Spins would revolt. I, but just, you know what, though. If there's one coach that don't give a damn, is Mario. Oh, he don't care. No, if he ain't right, he ain't playing. No. <laughs> he don't give a damn. I mean, again, that's what I'm saying. Like spring games, like you're just waiting for an injury to happen. Yeah, yeah. So let me let me let me ask let me ask everybody that's out there watching, and we appreciate everybody who's tuning and watching. Drop drop a a comment on who you think QB two should be right now. I just want to see what, what the poll – we should have actually put that on a poll. Like, based on what you've seen through videos or what you've seen on Twitter or some type of social media platform, who do you guys think will be QB2? Um, there's some options there, so I'm just trying to think. And no one's talking really about 11. Does 11 leave after spring? 
Does 11 stay? Is it 16? Is it 17? I would love to know what people and if you want to if you want to come into the show, shoot shoot a shoot an email. Give us your email, man. We'll bring you in yeah. and, and talk. You just got to have a better bit. internet connection than me right now. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for that. me for me it's it's pop man. It's it's, it's pop larger man. Um, I think I think that's the dude. I think he's going to be QB one next year. Um, I hate to say it, I love Jakari. I think he's a great kid. He's had a great attitude the entire time. Um, but I just I think he probably looks at it, especially with Luke Nickel coming in. Um, you know, that, that room's getting really, really clouded, you know. Like none of us want him to leave, but you know, the kid's gotta do what's best for him. But All right. you know, the, All the, right. the other the other side of that though is if you leave, you better have a better situation lined up to go and play at, right? So there's a lot of guys that are out there in the portal that, you know, look, just because you were recruited in high school. And all these dudes were telling you anything you wanted to, you might, you know, think you got options. You better make sure you do whatever back channels you got to do to make sure you got a spot to land, man. So give me five guys, just random five guys that you think are hitting the portal. I'm going to give you the big one first, man. And this is not any kind of knowledge or anything. It's just something that I think, and you and I were kind of talking about it on the phone, so I'll throw a big name out there. And I know this is kind of going to be like, what? But sometimes these things throw you for a loop, right? And it's just a gut feeling. I think Jacoby George hits a portal. Okay, give me a couple more. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, man. I think Zion Nelson is going to go. Right, I think he's going to go and try to find a, a fresh start somewhere. Let's say Jakari will be another one. Um, who else? Who else? Maybe Robbie Washington because he was in a uh, you know because they were trying to trying him out in a new position. If he doesn't like that, you know he might be out of there. And who else, man? See, I love. Sometimes we get put on the spot here, and we got to think through these things, man. And I'm trying to think through all the the scenarios here. Oh, God, I got to give you one more here. Mm, I don't know, man. You get, how about you give me one? <laughs> Just a random one? Yeah. Well, you give me your five, man. I, I don't know. I can give you four. How about that? That wasn't bad. Um, I agree with you. I, and, I, and we can be completely off base and we can be completely <laughs> wrong. Yeah. But I think I think potentially three leaves. Um, again, I just – you know, he, he's a guy over the last couple of years who, you know, has just made – I don't want to use the word bonehead, but a bonehead. He's made, like, oh, yeah. multiple, oh, yeah. multiple oh, yeah. costly mistakes. Yeah. And, and, again, I don't know if this regime is really – like, when you yeah. – what I've seen from six, I think six can take over three spot right away. That's just, that's just my feeling. Um, no inside information, just – I think six is that guy. As a freshman, he's that guy, right? Um, you know, and again, like you look at the situation, you look at the Virginia Tech game last year, and then you know, slapping a guy in the head, then you you know, snatching towels, then you know, there's just been numerous instances, you know, over the course of the last couple of years. Um, I hate to say, but I think eleven does bounce, um, and I think eleven ends up. This is again, just me throwing this out there. I think 11 ends up somewhere else inside the state of Florida. Just don't know exactly where. That's just my gut feeling. So, um, yeah. you know, I think a lot of it has to do on the offensive side of the ball. Um, I, I think so. I think one of the running backs are going to leave. I don't, I don't know which one. Um, but, again, you just – maybe A.J. Allen. Like, I think someone like that might leave. Hey, I know my fit. I got to throw it out there. Go ahead. Dolphin Derek, Dolphin Derek bro. He was out there. Go- he was out there goating other posts, right. man. He literally was goating Matt Liner. <laughs> like I just don't <laughs> get it. Like, and, and if you know, it's like he slid into the he slid into the DMs, and, and of course we got to pick on him because he's listening right now. That, that's our guy, right? But he, you know, he slid into line art DMs after that. So, yo, go. Let me let me get a pick. Let me get yeah, another picture. Know. So before I just read that, okay. So Polk actually took one of mine. Um, I thought Brian Balaam was actually going to be somebody that could potentially hit the portal as well. Um, sure. But, but you never know. I mean, they got to cut that roster down somehow. So I don't know if they're going to be like, well, 
we'll keep it like what they did last year with uh, with Mike McLaughlin. They literally he still he's still on scholarship. He's still doing his schooling. He's just not part of the football team. So hmm. that might be a situation that's as crazy well. Easy too, man. That kid's a giant. Just, I know that one kills you. You were always really high on that kid, man. Well, I mean, he he's a local kid who lives over by me. You yeah. know, went to school like two minutes from my house, and um, I know his family really well. So, yeah. but but again, it's again you go back to Zion Nelson. Um, you know, there's just I think they put I put he, I think he put way too much weight on way too fast, and I just oh, don't yeah. think his body just his knees can recover from that. Um, yeah. You know, but but again, I mean, who do you blame on that? Do you blame the staff, do you blame the trainers? Do you blame the strength and conditioning coaches? Do you blame the individual? You know, no one really knows the true story. Yeah. I mean, because look, when he put that weight on and we're like, oh, we got a 230 pound tackle coming in. What is that? And then, you know, you hear about this, oh, this kid's put, you know, what was it, 50 pounds on and, uh, you know, 40, 50 pounds on in a matter of a few months. Bro, nobody can put that kind of weight on that fast and, and be, be sustainable no i mean you can't, you can't you yeah. can't you know and again like you're you trying to slowly you could have slowly grown up to that right over the course of two or three years that's what you can't force a, a developmental tackle that you know and then that poor kid got out there against uf and you know that that d line they had that year and they were just seeing off on him. Man, yeah. like i felt so bad for that kid out there I felt so bad for myself but you know also for that kid too man you know. all right folk thanks for joining we'll, we'll hit Easy you up later point. on I, I'm sure you probably got to go do your own show. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got to go to you heard real quick, man. Yeah, you got to go to you heard. Yeah. Ben, okay. Benny and Joe texting. I'm like, hey, man, come on. Why are you on that show? Bro? Why, you, why are you on the Kang Gang? Why are you over there with the Kang Gang, man? I know. So, other than that, so I got to ask you a question, Bird. I mean, this is just something on a personal level. Um, the wife's birthday was last week for you. How, how'd that work That's out? Right. What'd you guys do? I saw you guys That's went good, to the man. Heat game, you know, so. No, no, no. That was a, that was a picture shared from the from a previous year, man. Oh, so. Okay, so you didn't take it to a heat game, cheapo. No, I didn't take it to the heat game. I you, can't, cheapo. You, can't even, you can't even. Well, they were playing the what? The Pelicans or something? I don't even know. I but you, can't, you got. Crap I don't get that Metro PCS internet. <laughs> no, bro. We just you know like look, man. My wife is is chill. She's amazing. She's low key. She just wanted to relax. We went out to a nice lunch with the family. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, spent some time uh, spent some time with her family down in uh, down in West Palm and. Uh, you know, just really had somewhat of a relaxing weekend, man. Our lives have been so crazy and so busy lately that, uh, you know, it was just nice to, you know, just have some some down easy time and uh, and whatnot. So yeah. What'd you guys go thirsty turtle? Get the good wings. Nah, bro. We went <laughs> went to this place. Anybody who's in the Treasure Coast, man, there's a uh, there's a new new restaurant called the Chicken Place here, which the is uh, place? This guy Kyle G. Yeah, the Chicken Place. And, okay. Bro, let me tell you, fire. Like absolute, like I mean, it's it's kind of like a, a like a Latin cocktail and, ch and rotisserie chicken place. Okay. So it's more upscale than it is like you know just walking in, and it's not like a Pollo Tropical, but it's like a you know it's like a higher end Pollo Tropical, and that junk was like incredible, man. All the sauces, all the food, the guava cheesecake we had at the end, like bro, everything was just insane. So yeah, well good. I'm glad you had a good we do. We didn't, we didn't go to the uh, the Texas Roadhouse like you like you thought I always do, man. Well, always. This man is <laughs> this man must have stock at Texas Roadhouse. That and crumble, like because he's always no. Oh, I've been on them cookies in a long time. Man. Oh, okay. Now you're on brownies. I'm back on the keto, actually, man. Oh, you're on the keto, my man. I'm back on it, man. Yeah, okay. 10, ten pounds down now. So well, good. Got a long way to go, man. I literally went three days without drinking one soda, and then after that, I was like, you know what, I'm back Bro, to this what? shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went three days. You're like, I'm out. I can't I take it. I tried Cherry Coke Zero, right? I'm like, that's not bad. And then I'm like, oh, Coke Zero is fire, man. Coke no, Zero is delicious, man. No, no, not even close. It's it's horrible. Like, just, I can't even do that. Zero sugar. No. But I don't know. Whatever. Well, I don't you, know. It tastes better, man. I don't know. I love it. So, March Madness. Who, so. March Madness, who do you got? Bro, you can't win it at all, man. No okay. way. No way. You don't think so? No way. Who I do got you have? Who do you think I got? Probably Purdue. No. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, hold on. I'm sorry. You're a closet UNC fan of basketball. So I got Carolina okay. winning. And then with that, with Arizona losing tonight, it makes that step a little easier. I think they uh, they got to play UConn in the Final Four though. But I got them playing Purdue. Um, I got that dude like like Zach Eady, just just or Jack Eady, whatever his name is, just is a monster. Like he's just like seven foot five, and just a monster down there. Like how do you get how do you get around that? What's up, G baby? 
No, I'm on the phone. I got you, baby, or your papa did. Can I tell you something? No. <laughs> Can I tell you something, Dad? That's... No. I just, I just got a high score on my video game. <laughs> Good job, G. Oh my God. Is he still yeah. rocking the cast or what? No, he actually just got it off a week ago. So oh, yeah, he so just got it off moment. and he did. Crazy and hell. then uh, he wasn't supposed to play any sports or anything for four weeks. And then like three days after we got the cast off, we had a game and he wanted to play. So I let him play. So <laughs> That's right. Listen, it is what it is, yeah. man. What's the worst that can happen? He hurts it again? So, Grayson, stop go. Yeah. So, and Maria kills anyway. You, bro. She literally got you, bro. Oh, she would. She definitely would. <laughs> no doubt, man. No doubt. Oh, man. So, yeah, man. Uh, hoops. I'm excited about the addition of the new of the new center, too. Uh, being able to slide Norchad over, man. That's huge. Do you think, he, do you think he, or do you think they move him to the four and put Norchad still at five? Because you got options. Norchak can hold mm-hmm. down the five. Six five he, center though, man. Yeah. Can the kid shoot? Can he shoot? Like look at Sam Wardenberg, right? My man was like yeah. can pop out to the outside and drain the three. Oh, old ginger shoot. out there dropping them, man. I'm dropping threes. Saying, you know the it's Australian. Kid, man. The Australian, yeah. right? A little shrimp on the Bobby. You know what I mean? <laughs> like let me get another shrimp on the Bobby. <laughs> That's a terrible Australian accent. Just so you. That know. doesn't matter. Well, like, <laughs> like, dumb, oh, like dumb and dumber, buddy goes, where are you from? Austria. Oh, a little, little shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> <laughs> we better go down that movie rabbit hole again, aren't no, we? No, definitely not doing it. Right? Hey, not doing it. hey are you, are, oh, what, what series are you binge watching right now? True Detective. Okay, I haven't seen that one. Oh, my so goodness, you know what seriously? I do? No. I'm, I, I'll get into it, though. But, okay. you know, I always wait for series that people hype, and I wait for them to end. And then I watched the whole thing together. So I went right. through Suits. That's done. Suits was yeah, awesome. That was Love good. It. Donald, Donald was the best. So you know, you know what I found now? Blacklist, bro. Oh, really? I've never seen that one. Bro. Oh, my God, man. With James Spader? No, no. Oh, seen my it. goodness, man. So it's about, like, this international fugitive that goes in, basically turns himself into the FBI. And he's, you know, goes in and he basically tells them, all this stuff that's going on. He has this black list of like 200, you know, of the, of the most dangerous people in the world that, you know, the FBI and, you know, CIA and all that don't even know exist. Um, I'm like three and a half seasons into that, bro. And that is, that is crazy, man. Okay. And it's 10 seasons of like 20 episodes a season. So I'm, I'm all into that one, man. So obviously everybody knows I have a six year old and he sends me videos and stuff all the time. Right. So Grayson's so funny. He'll send me videos. I don't pay no attention to that stuff. Well, the other day I found a video that he sent me back when we were in New York. So I play it. I'm like, wow, what is this? So he's, he's doing a selfie video. We're in New York. And he's like, Hey kid, can I borrow some money? No mofo. And I'm like, (laughs) well, Dolphin puts up WAP song. I thought he was like, WAP, like W A P WAP. No, like, no, wait no. A minute. But, don't tell me. Don't tell so, me he was rocking that one. No, no, that no. This is another one. So Grayson, the other day I caught him on the phone. He's on YouTube and he's he's listening to like Young Dolph and like Hunter Shot. <laughs> and I'm like, No, is that kid, Young Dolph and Derek? No, no, it's called Young Dolph. <laughs> and the song, like, yet, like, bro, listen, go to YouTube and and type in Hunter Shots and listen to the lyrics on this song. But like, the stuff that he listens to is just like, bro, like, where. But that's YouTube for you, right? Like these kids yeah. like it. But there's a song called WAP, and he, he loves that song. So shout, shout out to 904 Hurricane, man. Just finished shoots, and then he just got into Blacklist, man. We're on that same track right now. 904, I gotta let you know what, where, where we're going next, man. I'm a little bit ahead of you on this one, man. So I'm telling you, True Detective. Uh, so we're good. All right, just make so, it, baby. True, so Detective. True Detective. And again, I haven't seen. But I've that's not done heard. yet. That's not. That's not done Bro, it's yet. Been it's been done. Not over. It's done. Pretty much, I think so. All so right. season one has. New season, so listen, man, I don't have enough patience. So season one has Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson in it. Like seasons, like the latter season has like Vince Vaughn, uh, Rachel McAdams. Like there's so many different people in these. So Maria's been watching that, and she's been watching House of Cards. I've never seen that either. But oh, House, House of Cards is pretty. Good. I only got I only got like halfway through that, but that was good. I just kind of stopped watching for whatever reason, man. But I know what I'm watching. Survivor. Really? I love Survivor. Yeah. Like I bro, love Survivor. I <laughs> no. No reality TV oh, for me. Bro. Survivor. Although I will say, 
<laughs> Bro, so you know how like you have something that would probably be embarrassing that you've watched that you've liked that you know, but I just don't care. High school things. musical, I love it. <laughs> no, 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 not that one. No, no. Seventeen again. <laughs> okay. Baywatch. You know, you know what reality? I actually like really used to enjoy. Jersey, Jersey Shore. Shore bro. <laughs> <laughs> I actually used to really, really enjoy Jersey Shore, man. I don't care. I'm scared to admit it, bro. Listen, growing up, I used to love like MTV, yeah. like Road Rules, Road Rules, and like oh, the Real Road World. Rules is a jam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to love that stuff, man. Definitely yeah. used to love that. Yeah, yeah. So nine hundred four mentions another one here, and uh, it, it, Black Dexter? Bush reminds me of Dexter in a roundabout way. Dexter was sick. The only problem I had with Dexter that like would just annoy me is that it was set in Miami, supposed to be set in Miami, and there was nothing Miami like about that show whatsoever man like they didn't even try <laughs> but Jeez. the whole storyline in it was was great oh uh, yeah one anybody ever seen the godfather i'm just asking just you know anybody ever seen the godfather because you haven't I, I still haven't seen it have no desire Crazy. to see it no Crazy. desire so you don't have any you know what movie to... tell you i just you know, I, know, I i did watch it for like i just watched another movie for like the 10th time in the last two weeks which one wonka yeah it's actually a really good movie. Like, yeah, I'm a yeah. huge Willy Wonka dude. Like, it sounds corny, but Willy Wonka was just, like, the movie of the movie. Like, Bro, how do you, you ever, not, like, enjoy the Oompa Loompas? <laughs> you ever see, uh, you ever watch Mr. Beast stuff on YouTube? Grayson does. <laughs> I don't. Bro, no, like, dude, this dude is crazy. He's got, like, 250 million YouTube Yeah, followers. Grayson watches something, them all the time. Something ridiculous. This dude, like, made an entire chocolate factory just like Willy Wonka, bro. Like... <laughs> Like literally produced this whole thing. I was just like, "What the heck, man?" So would you ever? Would you was, ever? So so a little side tidbit here. So I let maybe we're way off. Would you way let? Would you? Yeah. Off. Would you let your fourteen year old go to a Drake concert by by themselves? Well, my fourteen year old is a girl, so no. <laughs> if, if you had a boy, a, would you? If, if I had a boy, yes, absolutely. Right, good. So well, my I'm fourteen not, year old is a, a parent then. Is a girl. Oh I'm my god, bro! I didn't even tell you. Listen, man. Aaron got her first boyfriend finally, bro. Well, he has to meet Uncle Derek because, like, I ain't playing that. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm telling you. So the problem is, is that I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like the uncle from from Bad Boys. <laughs> well, no, brother. Look, this, this, listen, bro, since I since I found out I was having a girl, like, bro, I've been yeah. ready to do that. I've been talking to the boys. Oh, we're gonna tear it up when this kid comes over here. But like the roundabout way that she met this kid. He is the younger brother of her, of of her friend's boyfriend, right? So okay. the kid was just kind of like around, and he come around the volleyball gym. And he's a really good kid, man. Like really nice. Yeah, they like, they all know. seem to be really nice. I know. I mean, I bro, trust me. I know I was that age, but like the problem is, is that before this kid became her boyfriend, I got to know him, right? So now he knows, and I'm I mess with him all the time. You know, if I see him like FaceTiming her, I'll answer the, you know, I'll answer the FaceTime on her iPad or whatever. I'll pick it up and be like, what do you want? You know, but like he know he knows me, man. So like I can't I can't sell it. But maybe if I have you come up and oh, open the it. door of the house, like oh, you know, bro, it's literally Kane's, bad boys. Take your shirt off, Kane bro, sets you I'm like, I'm like, Oh, that that's Aaron's crazy uncle. <laughs> Boy, what I, you just got out of, I just got you out of the made love to him, man. <laughs> no, sir, you want to? <laughs> you know? Speaking of that. The trailer, and we only have like two more minutes. The trailer for oh, Bad Boys yeah. Four is out. Bad fire. Boys Four looks like it's going to be fire. Right, yes. I can't wait to see that. We finally hit the point in society where sequels are as good in some cases or better than the originals. I didn't really like two. I thought like the original Bad Boys was phenomenal. Two was okay. Two you know, was dumb. Johnny Tapia, bro. Johnny Tapia, no. come on, was man. Okay. Three was really good. Like just that whole going down to Mexico and all that, like three was really good. So, and then you see yeah. the trailer for four. Oh, definitely. I have a Dr. Pepper. You already know that. So. <laughs> <laughs> see Dolphin Dare is trying to be on our good side. Cause we know that he's a legit USC fan. So. Claws of USC. Anyway, let's get back real quick to Kane's talk. It's, yep. you know, again, uh, practice is going great. I'm probably going out there on Thursday for practice. If I see anything, obviously we'll have it for the show for if next you see week. Something, say something. That's right. If you see something, say something, man. And, you know, and, and real quick, shout out to you know the Homeland Security and the whole P Diddy situation. You know, hopefully they get that you know going. And so, <laughs> that is atrocious. I'm just I'm just sitting back watching it all go down. Like, 
Like, so oh, yeah. is it is it is it true that Jay Z is like actually the ringleader of all this? Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Listen, man, the, the 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 deep state of Hollywood. I wouldn't oh, be surprised at yeah. any of it, man. You know, and then like, you know what? Real quick, politicians and ce- celebrities, bro. Like, they're the worst yeah. people. Man. Look, we got um, a minute left. I do got to give condolences to you know the workers over there in, in Baltimore on that bridge situation, uh, that sure. catastrophe there. And, you know, listen, they're going to be that that was like a, a, a branch from, you know, spot to spot. So it's going to take some time. And and just so everybody who's out there listening, all 150 of you guys, whatever, just so you know, even though Biden said that the federal government's going to pay for it, that means that you're paying for it. Just throwing that out there. So we're paying for that. Bridge. That's the way it is with everything, bro. Yeah, <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right. You listen to Kang Gang Radio Show. It's your boy, DC. Put a dirty bird. We'll catch you guys next week. Go Canes. Go Canes. Woo. Peace. Don't